am so tired of always cleaning this house. This kitchen is an absolute mess. Even the floor is a complete mess. I don't understand how this house gets so dirty. I'm so tired of cleaning all the time. Oh, mail's here. Uh, probably just junk mail. Just wait, what does this say? Need a maid? Call 333-444-5551 and find yourself a maid. Wait, this is exactly what I've been waiting for. I'm gonna call it. Hello, is this Find a Maid Services? Yes, I'm Phoebe Ross and I'm looking for a maid. My address? Um, 209 Cool Street. Thank you. Okay, bye. Well, I don't know how long this can take. This can take maybe months, maybe weeks, days, hours. I don't know, I mean, it could take forever. Oh, somebody's here. for a maid. I'm from Find a Maid Services. Oh, come on in. We can do the interview inside my dining room. Sounds fun. So, what's your name? My name's Riley, and I've been a maid for four years. Oh, how wonderful. So, what's your limit of how many kids you can take care of and how many rooms you can clean? Oh, it's all unlimited. I mean, I can literally clean anything. <sighs> Good. I have, like, nine kids and, like, Oh no, like 14 rooms. <laughs> Sounds lovely. Oh, here comes one of my kids now. Um, hi. Sarah, this is Riley. She's gonna be our new maid. Hi, Sarah. Hi. Okay. So, you're going to be taking care of all my kids and cleaning all of the rooms? Yes, but I do have a time limit. I only work for 10 hours or less. Um, Mom, are you really just gonna have a random person in our house cleaning it? Look, Sarah, I'm really tired of not being able to, like, go to the nail salon or do my hair or anything. I just need some me time. Okay, Mom, I understand. Thank you. Now I'm gonna go get my nails done. You guys have fun! Oh, we will. So, you're gonna be our new maid? Yep. So where's your couch? Pardon me? I said, where's your couch? On the top floor. Thank you, made me some popcorn. Uh, that was not a question. Okay. Favorite show ever. Hey Sarah, where's my popcorn? I'm making it, just a sec. Ugh, table. Okay, it's done. Here's your popcorn. Thanks, Sarah. Now go make yourself a doll and go clean up the kitchen. Excuse me? You heard me. Go clean up the kitchen. Um, aren't you supposed to be the maid? Yeah, but I'm kind of busy watching my show here. Um, well, okay. Thanks. <laughs> it's my favorite part. <laughs> maid, make me mop my own floor. <sighs> um, Sarah, what are you doing? I'm cleaning. What does it look like I'm doing? Oh. Why are you cleaning? Did you get in trouble again? No, I did not get in trouble. And what do you mean again? I'm the good person whose family doesn't get in trouble every five seconds. Rude, but fair. So why are you cleaning? <sighs> because mom hired a maid, okay? A maid? You mean there is a stranger roaming around our house, cleaning all of our bedrooms and bathrooms, probably stealing things? What if she's in my bedroom? I have my laptop and computer and my Bible in there. What's she gonna do with those? No, I'm the one that's roaming around every room in this house, cleaning all the bathrooms, cleaning all the bedrooms. Okay, again I ask, why? Because she's lazy. She's literally on our couch eating popcorn right now. <sighs> Sarah, get me an ice cream sundae, please. No, I said please. That doesn't make it okay. Does mom know that she's lazy? No. Mom does not know that she's lazy because she's all innocent whenever mom's here. But then as soon as she leaves to go get her nails done or her hair done, she's all, make me popcorn, give me an ice cream sundae and everything. Maybe maids don't need to just 
clean. What are you saying? I'm saying I have a plan. Not a great plan, but a pretty good plan. We can make the house even messier. Then she'll get fired. Even messier? There's 11 people living in this house. Which makes it even cooler. Let's make it messy. <laughs> I think we got it. Yeah. All right, let's go. All right, Sarah, how's your cleaning job? What have you done to this kitchen? I'm going to get fired. Too bad, so sad. That's what you get for being lazy. But now I'm going to get fired. Yeah, you deserve to get fired. You shouldn't be lazy. It's even one of God's scriptures. You should not be lazy. What's a scripture? You know who God is, right? Yeah. You know his Bible, right? Sort of. He says you shouldn't be lazy. Oh. Well. I don't want to be lazy. I just, I can't help it. I like to watch TV and eat popcorn and eat ice cream sundaes, which you didn't give me, by the way. Yeah, I was not going to. Figured not. I don't want to be lazy. This isn't the life that I wanted. Then change it. Live a new life with God. Trust me, it's a lot better than just sitting around doing nothing. You're right. I'll confront your mom. Thank you. Now, I'm gonna go clean. And that's why you should fire me. Thanks for your honesty, Riley. And if you do start to not be lazy again, I'll be happy for you to be our new maid. Thanks, baby. All right, um, well, I better get home. All right, bye. Thanks for not getting mad. Bye, guys, and remember, never be lazy. Bye, guys. Wait, okay, miss camera, bye.